So hey guys, finally after your lot of queries on Instagram and on Gmail, finally I'm making video on Messina. I have seen that uh, the application process in Italy. So I have also recorded the application and how to do the registrations. So you can watch at the end of the video. So just let brief you a little bit about the call and call details. What are the things that you need? Okay. Well, the last deadline is 10th of September but one more deadline you should know the deadline to uh, upload your EZU Purificato and your Receptor Permissus Sojourno is 38th of November okay uh, and if you have not received your EZU Purificato in these documents five days before the deadline of submitting your easy verificato you can provide them your tax code to irso messina and also you need to notify them that you have yet not received your easy verificato okay so this is very important how to get your easy verificato i will tell you later okay well, so the master students the bachelor students specialized students the mba students and phd students can apply for the scholarship to apply for the scholarship you need to fulfill the income requirement and also the merit requirement okay income requirement you have to fulfill before merit requirement you have to fulfill in order to take the second installment of the money okay so for income requirements you need to show the easy verificato value that should not be more than 23626 euros okay uh, and then it depends upon your easy value how much amount you will receive okay so you can see on the screen uh, it shows how much amount you will be receiving depending upon your easy you verificato value so if you see the first column if your easy is lower than or equal to two third of 23626 you will receive 2757 euros two free meal and you will receive a bed okay now students who have not received the bed yet because of the non availability of the beds and also because you have submitted the, the contract to live in a private apartment in that case you will receive 1300 euros so the second column is uh, if your easy is higher than two third and up to 23626 in that case you will receive lower amount that is 1654 euros plus two free meal and plus a bed you will receive in a hostel if you have not received the bed then they will pay you 780 euros now why offside students because you are offside students because you don't live nearby the your university municipality so always like even though you apply for other regional scholarship you will be always a off-site student okay? money the first installment you will receive by 31 december if you have uploaded your eban number to receive your second installment you also need to show your merit requirement okay so for that you need to bring certain amount of credit by 10th of august i mean you need to pass your first semester and second semester exam in total and you have to bring certain maybe 10 or 15 credits to get your second installment of money okay so what are the documents that you need for the scholarship so you need the income document document the property document your bank certificate you need to apostille these documents you need to translate this document in Italian and you need to legalize this document uh, from Italian consulate okay from the people from Pakistan you can check the descriptions I have given or to, what you have to do or in detail you can also check the scholarship uh, document video under the document series okay uh, for the people also you can check uh, the scholarship document video there I explain in detail how to prepare the document for the scholarship okay so no matter which scholarship you're applying all the documents will be same but only you have to check that what does what which year document they're asking so for this you have to submit last year document 2020 document so don't use 2021 document okay now you also need EZU Purificato and you need your Receptor Permesso Giorno and you also need the, the the certificate that shows if your parents are divorced separated you have to provide those documents also your identity document okay how you will make your EZU Purificato okay so you don't have to make that what you have to do is all these document income property and the bank certificate uh, you need to submit to the SAF people okay now where you will find the contact of these SAF people so when you will go to the call you will come to the end pages on the annexures you will find in detail maybe 15 to 20 different SAP offices uh, details you can contact any one of them and you can check their easy section and you can send them all these documents which I told you just now for scholarship and they will send you your easy you verificato on your email ID okay so once you will come here you will apply for permission to sojourno and you have to upload that receipt now from the people from country like Bangladesh uh, Nepal, Afghanistan. If you want, you can go on the call and you can, in the annexures, you can check the list of the countries who are considered poor uh, by Erso Messina. So, for these people, you don't have to prepare the separate income, separate property, and separate these documents. Uh, you just directly need to go to the Italian consulate and they will prepare your these documents for your scholarship. Okay. 
Now let's go to the portal and I will show you the two process that is first you have to do the registration and the second how to exactly apply for the scholarship okay so just watch that video in detail uh, even after watching video if you have any problem in the translation of an Italian word you can ask me in the comment uh, I can help you with that. So guys let's start first you have to go to erisomessina.it you can find a link here with this link you can go to the page where there are the publication of the scholarship so you'll find the publication in english and in italian so you can open the english one from the second option here you can read the details of the call of the call please read in detail the timeline of the deadlines the ranking and each and everything about it then again you need to go back to this page and here you'll click on fourth option now here it starts your applications okay so first of all you need to do the registration so go to the option second do the registrato and you have to calculate in the first option your codice fiscale so click on calcola il tuo codice fiscale here you have to put your surname then your name your sex your place of birth, so you can also put the state or your country, then it will be generated, your Codice Fiscale, paste your Codice Fiscale here, put your name, uh, surname, the details as you can see, your country, please make sure always the Provincia Nashita will be EE for us, okay? The email ID, please make sure you're always checking this email ID, you will get the verification link on this email ID only select your nationality and then confirm it now it says that you will get a verification link you will receive this email on your email id there is a password you can check it down then again you'll go back you will do a chedi means you'll do the login username will be your codice fiscale and password will be what you have received in your email id there is a four option click on first option and this is you have to apply for 2021 click on that the first option and then here you can check there is a deadline and it's the same call that you want to apply go for proceed accept all the different uh, privacy and then here you have to uh, put the details so you have to put Stadenza that is indiana and uh, nuclear family uh, you have to put no and third option you have to describe what type of nuclear family you have so if you're autonomous student or if your parents are not married if you if you are not married and you have kids okay so if you want any of these translation you can just comment me below uh, okay now if your parents are separated or divorced this is the genitori separati and divorziati okay this is separated and divorced then is genitori this one the first one that is the married so you can choose the married one now is the fourth option is about easy you know right it tells the economic condition of you uh, as you don't have easy right now so you can select the second option and then here you are not uh, i think suitable for any of this not a victim of anything not a victim of mafia nothing but if you have disability you can select second option otherwise the first that is nisuno then this is another kind of declaration you put continuation here and then here is your course details the first one is your course so it's your first years of prima anno in second is 2021 not 2020 okay then is about university about your course where it is so here you have to submit nisuna again and all these no 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 okay now you will continue now here your type of study so laurea trinale bachelor course Ciclo Unico is the MBBS and Laurea Magistrale is the master. Now again here you have to put the course detail engineering. Now this is what you want. You want bed, you want so you have to select you want bed, you want canteen and you want Borsali Studio. So three, all three you want. Now this is saying that you don't have your still IBN uh, number. So once you will finish this process, you will put the IBN number. Now this all things you have to accept. that's it and then you confirm okay now this is the final details you go through all these details once it should be correct and right there should be no error and if there is no error you can confirm it if there is error you can you can modify so we are done with the first option you can check your request of your application on the second option 
okay here you can see the stato is incomplete because i have not confirmed the application so if you'll confirm the application it will be coming here confirmed uh, if you check this third option it's where you have to upload your documents so the documents that you have to upload here is your easy verificato once it will come from the SAF people you have to upload it here and you have to upload your permis of sojourno or your receipt of sojourno so once you will come here you will apply for sojourno I hope you like this video please uh, send us a feedback of this video just comment below just subscribe the channel share with your other friends so that they can also know about our channel if you are getting difficulty in finding accommodation in Italy or you are scared about what are the documents that you need once you will come to Italy uh, so you can contact me I can help you in searching accommodation and I can help you in preparing the six documents that you need once you will come to Italy and also after you come to Italy we will be needing a lot of different help because more people will speak Italian here okay so maybe booking something train tickets or anything i'll be there uh, but yeah of course that service will be paid uh, and uh, i will help only 10 students so you can mail me if you want that service you can just write accommodation services there or you can also message on instagram writing accommodation services I'll reply to that, okay so guys thank you so much once again for watching travel with me do subscribe to the channel okay bye ciao